what today is happy birthday sunshine goddess so you guys send sunshine goddess some love today is our fourth anniversary we're going and growing fourth anniversary and my son said 888 which is 2024 this this is yes it's up now it's up whatever they thought they were going to do to be against you it's up the love you thought that the enemy thought they were going to take from you it's up the job the finances luxury life is yours is yours it's, it's time to shine it's time to shine. So, I'll let you guys come in. Of course, Noble wants to always get in our way. Happy Sunday. I'm definitely not going to go any further until I see one of our soul family members in here. Email me, sunshinegoddess333 at gmail.com. Readings, writings, rituals, spiritual consultation. You got it? No job too smart. Let me do it all. Okay, so happy Sunday, guys. Happy Sunday, you guys. Don't forget to send me stuff. Someone sent me this, and 444 was a number I've been seeing for like a... I've been seeing it a lot, so confirmation. Oh, excuse me. I just grabbed this glass because I just wanted to use it this morning, but 444 confirmation. I also, also the number 8888, super abundance energy. Make sure you guys hit the like button when you get into the into the the room guys so energy is energy if it resonates it resonates really guided to uh look at right here top as soon as we start whoever's in here this is the energy that you're picking up award-winning money payoff uh for your effort you're being recognized for the by the divine you're being recognized okay so emotional spending joint finances being supported i feel like that's in reference to like a relationship or a connection whatever you need or want in that relationship connection god's gonna make sure that you guys have it so so if if you or your partner or someone was worried about their finances or financial situation that's already taken care of what god wants you to do is to enjoy your relationship and do his divine job. Like whatever he's asked you to do in your connection. Let me bring out a little bit closer. Um, you know, whatever you have to do, you will do. Okay. Rising above money issues. If you were going through some financial things, uh, you're rising above that. You're definitely with the wings. Again, somebody's rising. They're they're going higher. They're going above their issues. You are going to go from feeling like I don't have enough to I, have, I can pay my bills and have more. And, and even to being able to bless other people is what I hear the Spirit saying. So, so you're moving into an energy, a, a shift, a different shift where your financial energy literally has changed. And when I was like setting my stuff up this morning, I, you know, I, I was getting down. I was like, luxurious life gold jewelry and i love those i love that download because feminine that is feminine energy that is energy being attracted because one there's a divine feminine that's consciously decided to heal and she's being open to receiving the moment you step into the, this it's almost like you just walk through a door and you're open to receiving and and you release and you surrendered okay because those two go hand in hand and you're mindful and you're pure in your heart and you're faithful. See, all those things go together and it, it it sounds so easy to put together, but in the midst of adversities, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of circumstances where you can't see a way out, but you stayed faithful is why the divine said, listen, I see you. Okay. I know you've had a hard time. I know you feel like you're just making it. I know you may feel like you might just be living paycheck to paycheck, but those days are coming to an end. You know why? Because you consciously decided, I'm going to pick up more hours for work. I'm going to do this for my family. I'm going to go without. You consciously decided to still stay faithful to something you weren't sure that was going to even work out. And and it, it worked out, but you didn't know, but you stayed faithful. So the fact that you didn't, and again, and I when I see memes, I bring them here. This is a safe place. But there's a certain things I know I can, that won't, you know, it's not too bad. Being a, being financially unstable should make you a savage, yes, but it should never.